what's up welcome back to the channel today i'm going to be showing you guys how i make pyrex whipple and q beats style melodies i'm going to make the melody then i'll do the drums and then i'll play you guys the finished product but before we hop into that i wanted to remind you guys that there is a free sample kit slash melody kit in the description so make sure you go get that and i just wanted to say thank you guys for all the support you guys have been going crazy recently there's also a highly anticipated producer acapella pack in the description so make sure you go download that and one last thing i'm also looking for an editor or a couple editors so if you know any tell them to hit me up or if you are one hit me up on instagram just dm me and without further ado let's hop straight into this video all right so we're just gonna hop straight into making the melody i'm gonna grab a little piano i think i'm gonna go with the la custom c7 classical piano and i'm gonna add a little bit of detune all right so i'm gonna record the top melody first and then i'm gonna do some bass notes do some bass notes I think it's just gonna be super simple now I don't want all of these notes to play at the exact same time I kind of want them to feel like like I actually played them so we're just gonna grab like every other one and strum it Yo, that's fire, wait. So when you're trying to capture Pyrex's vibe, shout out to Pyrex, you just wanna do like different timings. Like you don't want it to be super generic. You kinda wanna like make it off beat, but in a cool way. So now we're gonna try to add a harp. Yeah, that sounds fire. It's like trailing the piano kind of. It sounds like the harp is like stalking the piano. Low key, fire analogy nice so i like to separate my melodies and lay them out so that way i know like you can visually see where there's pockets for things for you to add we have stuff here and we have stuff here now and there was kind of like a little gap here that this harp fills up um and there's even gaps here that the harp fills up and then it just harmonizes for the rest so you really just want your melodies to work together that's like a big key this is a major key alert you don't want to overcomplicate things and when you lay things out like this it's easier for you to see and then let's see if we can make it sound cooler i think we can leave it there we just need an ambience I think I want to put this in here. It sounds kind of hard. Ugh. That sounds fire. <gasps> this might be fire. Yeah. Now let's go ahead and make a little automation clip for the volume for this. make this one swell differently so i want it to be like quiet until it gets to that point like that. all right let's go here find like a bell of some sort we're gonna make it just copy the main melody put this effect preset on here and it's just a cool delay from waves and then some eqs and then there's this cool effect rack that i put on the second channel that i link it to and it makes this cool weird yeah and then if i pitch it down that just added so much flavor to it that's crazy all right so let's go ahead and track this out and, th and then we'll start on the drums all right so let's go ahead and start on the drums for the drums you really just want to you got to make sure your 808s are smacking so i'm going to go to my drum kit get a hi-hat get a clop and use this necessity 808. All right, let's throw some clops in here. 
throw a cool little hi-hat pattern from my hi-hat midi kit so for the hi-hats you really want to do some cool like one sixth rolls and then some cool uh kind of like slide down rolls you just press b get the little paintbrush tool if you don't if it doesn't work when you press b just go up here and click it and then shift and press left click and do a roll like this but you want to make sure that it makes sense on um, where you place it and then we're gonna do a cool roll that we were talking about where it slides down right here oh wait that's not a fire and then I'm going to add some sauce to the hi-hats by going to Looperator. And then we're just going to go ahead and add some cool little reverse stuff here and there. And for Pyrex type 808s, you kind of want to go crazy, but not too crazy. Just make sure you limit yourself. Make sure it has bounce. You want it to have repetition, but you also want to make it unique. So we're going to do like this cool little three... 808 note pattern that everyone knows and then we're gonna add like our little sauce to it and then we're gonna copy that over and then hit this and then repeat that yeah try to make it like kind of fast like that and then yeah. and then we'll have it be lower yeah and then we're gonna add some snares and then i think we're gonna call it so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i'm gonna play you guys the final beat if you want any of the kits that i used in this video links for them will all be in the description make sure you go get that free melody pack in the description and make sure you go get that acapella pack if you're a producer if you haven't already hit that subscribe button i appreciate all you guys for the support i really do thank you guys and let me know in the comments what type of video i should do next here's the final beat